Hey dropshippers, I just wanted to show you an easy way to actually add products into your eBay store. You can do this from Amazon, Walmart, um, Overstock, there's quite a few stores, I can't think of them all right now. But when you log in, this allows you to show under the listings at what store you can use. I just wanted to show you this short video. Um, this is going to talk a little bit about the Chrome tool. And in the upper right hand corner, this is actually the download of the, of the Chrome tool that helps you with this process. So let's go ahead and watch this a moment and then I will go ahead and talk a little bit more about this amazing process so that you can add products into your store. Hey guys, this is Michael with eSync. Today is December 18th, 2016 and I try to always give the date so that if we have any updates to the, to the website or to the Chrome tool um, and you're watching this video and, and some of this information is a little bit different than what you're seeing, that's the reason for this. And I'll try to keep the videos up to date so that that doesn't happen. Today I want to talk about how to create listings with our Chrome tool. And the first thing you'll need to do, if you don't, are, you see I've got some stores here already connected. If you don't have a store connected and you just created your account, the first thing you need to do is click Add Store. So if we go to Add Store here, the next thing you'll want to do is choose your market. So if you are selling on eBay, eBay.com or eBay Canada, or eBay UK, eBay France, or Shopify. We'll have some more stores in the future, so if you see more in here, that'll be the reason for that. Um, if you've got a Shopify store, you would choose that, type in, and then click continue, and it would prompt you to, to log in through our portal. If you're selling on eBay US, you log in here, and, and then it would, log, it, it would ask you to log in through the portal. So I'm going to talk about how to create some listings with our Chrome tool once you've connected your store. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is go to Amazon.com or Overstock.com. What I'm about to explain right now will apply to all the markets that we use. It'll apply to Walmart, to Overstock, to AliExpress, uh, to Best Buy, to Sears. It'll work on this this Chrome tool works on all of the all, all the markets that we pull from. So let's say we want to look up some automotive tools. And the first thing you want to remember to do is on the left here is to choose something that fits your repricing and your auto ordering criteria. So you might choose by prime or just free shipping might be okay too for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click free shipping. And let's say I want to, uh, let's say I just want engine tools just to, just to go in here a little bit further. So you, we've got some good search results here. <clears throat> so you want to go ahead and, Click your, uh, your, your Chrome tool, and if you don't have the Chrome tool already, there's going to be a link for it in the description. And this Chrome tool is very powerful, and, and this is the same tool you'll use for all the markets that you want to sell from. If, you wanna, if you're wanting to make create listings from Amazon or Overstock, like I've said, the first thing you'll do is get your search results, get your filter, and then you're going to want to click the, the rocket here. And you'll notice it's going to take me to page two automatically. Right there, it took me to page two. And you see it grabbed 27 listings. And it's it's got them listed right here and they're sorted for you. And you see it went to page two automatically. And I, I didn't tell it to go to page two. It does that for you. So see we're on page two. So I'm going to click it again. You see I've got 20. This is how many, this is the number of listings. It's 27 right here. So I click the Chrome tool again. So now we've got 53 listings here. And you'll see it went to page three for me. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, and if you're ever worried about, you see I'm clicking on and off and it saves it for me. And so what if you go to another page? What if I go back to uh, to my async e store and then I go back and I think, uh, and, and you click it and you're like, oh man, where's my, my, my ASINs are gone or my SKUs are gone from Overstock or wherever. If you go back there and click it, they'll be back. They'll come back for you. So that's not a problem. And, th and this will this will trend. So if we have, if, let's say I've got another tab open. Let's say I have Overstock open also right now. Those Overstock SKUs will be saved too. So the 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 tool is going to be smart enough to keep up with what you've done and what pages you're on. So the next feature on the Chrome tool is the timed listing grab, and this is a really great feature. You see, I've got 35 pages of SKUs here, and, and I'm not going to sit here the whole time. time. 
and grab those SKUs one by one, page by page like that. So I can click the timed tool and it's gonna grab the next page for me. I think every five seconds or so there, and it's just gonna go through, go from page to page and it's gonna grab these ASINs. And this again, this will work on Overstock or Walmart. This will just sit here and work until it runs out of SKUs, until it goes to all 35 pages. Sometimes when you do an Amazon search result, I'm scrolling down right here. I'm trying to keep up with the pages at the bottom. Sometimes whenever you do an Amazon search, see I'm on page eight there now. All right, so I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown at how well the system, the software will actually help you add more products into your eBay store. So you could put as many as you like. I would be careful and cautious at how many you put in there if you're first starting out or where your account stands. Um, you know, definitely make sure that your account can handle so many new listings coming in because you don't want to get your account flagged and, you know, ruin your account so that you're unable to actually sell on eBay. So that is something that is definitely available and also uh, learning more about how to update the titles and the names and the other things that are part of this is really important too. So definitely subscribe. I definitely want to show you more about how to make these listings uh, better because the ones you're pulling from from Amazon normally don't have a really good title and um, you definitely want to stand out from a crowd and be better. So if you're looking for more training, I definitely do have that. If you'd like to have this software and system, definitely click on the link below and I will have that there for you. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video and happy listing. Bye.